Okay, let's try solving uh, a bit more complicated of a problem here. And actually, this, this is substantially more difficult. This time, we've got an equation with two absolute value symbols in it. Now, the way you got to start thinking about this is in terms of the piecewise functions here. Now, if, like ignoring what's left here, if I was to create a piecewise function here, what I would be looking for here is where this particular function is positive. So I'm going to bring the 2 over, so I'll get 3x is greater than or equal to 2. x is greater than or equal to 3 over 2. Okay? So this function right here is positive where x is greater than 3 over 2 and negative on the other side here. And now let's consider this one right here, 2x plus 5. Again, I'm going to look for where this is positive. So 2x is greater than or equal to negative 5 x is greater than or equal to negative 5, whoops, sorry, that looks like a 3, negative 5 over 2. So this function here is positive greater than negative 5 over 2. Now what this does is it creates some intervals along the number line. Over here we've got negative 5 over 2, and over here we've got 3 over 2. This creates three different intervals along the number line here. Well, in this spot right here, if we've got numbers, Okay, or values of x that are less than negative 5 over 2, it turns out this function is negative and this function is negative. So what we'll do here is the absolute values will throw negative signs in front of them. Okay, so if we're in this interval right here, the absolute value symbols are going to throw negative signs in front of those pieces. And that's how we get rid of those absolute value signs. And now we get negative 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 2x minus 5 plus 1. That's only here, okay, because both of those functions are going to be negative behind negative 5 halves here. Uh, now let's bring the, three, the negative 3x over, so it'll become x here. Uh, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4, and if we bring the negative 4 over, we'll add it. So we're going to get x is equal to 6 over here. Okay, now, does that make sense? Well, no. Actually, that doesn't make sense because the values of x that I'm expecting here should be less than negative 5 halves, and that's not true. So that can't possibly work. There's no solution coming from here. So now I move to the middle here. In this middle section right here, okay, I'm still less than 3 halves, so the absolute value is still going to throw a negative in front of here, in front of the 3x minus 2. But in this section right here, I am still to the right of negative 5 over 2, so this section right here, this piece will be positive, so the absolute value will just leave it alone. And so now I put the negative through, I get negative 3x plus 2, okay, sorry, I'll move that up for you, is equal to 2x plus 5 plus 1. Uh, let's, again, let's move the negative 3x over. So that's actually going to become 5x over here. This is a 5 plus 1 is 6. I'll move that over to this side. I'm going to get negative 4. So negative 4 fifths is equal to x. It turns out that yes, in fact, negative 4 fifths is in between negative 5 halves and 3 over 2. So that works. So what we're doing here is we can check our work as we go. Okay. Now the very last interval we're going to look at is this one right here, and I got to come down over here and I got to do the work down here. Now when we're to the right of 3 halves, both of these expressions up in the original function here will be positive, so the absolute value is just going to leave them both alone. Okay, this is all we're going to be left with here. So now maybe in this case I'm going to bring the 2 over, okay, which will just be x by itself here, then I'll bring the, the negative 2 over, so this is x, sorry, 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 2 is going to be 8, and I'm left with x is, equal to five, uh, x is equal to 8 here. Now, I am in the interval on the right-hand side of 3 halves. Well, yes, that 8 is on the right-hand side, or it's, it's greater than 3 halves, so that is an answer. So what I'm getting here is I'm getting two different answers here. Negative 4 fifths was in between here, and I was solving, and I was solving the equation uh, for in between those two, and so that worked. And then when I was solving the equation to the right of 3 halves, I got 8, and that also satisfies that restriction. And so it's a big question.